Well, hello there, neighbors. Welcome to my neighborhood. Doing you a video. And this is this is an experiment I did with my online bio class. And it just uh, kind of happens to go along with some of the things that we do with our planted tanks. Now, this experiment involved yeast and different types of sugars. And here's just kind of what an overall thing. Basically, I filled this tube that's inside with 15 milliliters of a solution, depending on what it was. And most of it was 1% uh, something, 1%. You say this is glucose, this is sucrose, this was equal. I'm not really sure with these uh, synthetic sugars, Splenda, and then this office mat snacks was just uh, regular sugar, and uh, then you filled in the rest with yeast, and I think that was like maybe 10, 10 milliliters of like a yeast solution, but this is after, oh, I don't know what time, I think it's about 7. I think I did this at uh, about 3. 3.20 is when I got done with it. But you can see this was filled... Uh, okay. You can sort of see there's like a little line and then there's a top. And the the water was above that line. There was just a little bubble in it. And these are everything else is gas that is produced and you will drag it across the top see this is the sugar the one that uh... uh I don't know if it did the best or it tied because there's some there's some leniency because I couldn't do the, the thing the way to do that perfectly but so the uh... we'll call it a eh, Maybe a three-way tie between glucose, sucrose, and uh, sugar. The other two did badly. No synthetic sugars. And most people use molasses, or what I've seen. And I haven't tested that yet. It That was optional, and I just didn't want to do that. But uh, since I'm almost done with this class, I probably will be bored at one point. And we'll try that. We'll try some different things. And... It's not very much gas, but you got to realize that this is 1% like glucose and when the environment that you'd be making for CO, a CO2 DIY to do it yourself would be like 20% and there'd be more yeast like uh, I don't know if it'll focus like there's not much in there it wasn't a, a high concentration of yeast and you'd be doing it in more amounts like this isn't very much this is maybe 20 milliliters max or 30 max of solution whereas a watt a pop bottle I don't think I have any in here is probably I don't know it's like two it's 270 so there's there's more there's quite a bit of co2 getting produced out of that stuff this is just a real small scale experiment. And maybe I'll make a video on how to do this so you guys can... Of course you're going to have to have test tubes like this, but... Kind of crazy stuff. Just thought I'd show you guys this. There was some other stuff. Uh, yeast and hydro hydrogen peroxide. That's <laughs> That was kind of fun. That produces the oxygen, I think. Uh, I can't remember. Anyway... Still moving the fish. Getting moved in here. Some more. Still lots in here. Chilling over with their parents. Still dirty. But, uh, yeah, we gotta play around with this so we can find, uh, what the best, best possibilities are for you guys to do, do, do it yourself. Which I might need to get in the business of doing. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.